Good evening and welcome to live coverage of Brighton and Hove Albion versus Worthing FC in the Sussex Senior Cup final. I'm Matt Drabble taking you through proceedings in what should be a brilliant occasion for the county. Brighton and Hove Albion, 13 time winners of this tournament in its current format. Worthing a whopping 21 wins to their name. Can the young Seagulls stave off an opposition which has already claimed one trophy this season, the Isthmian League Premier Division? Hinchy. Pinched momentarily, back to Spong. This is great football from the Albion. Moran, pocket of space, Sturge to his left. Can the blue and white shirts capitalise here? It's dropped loose in the area. Can Miller bundle it over the line? No, headed behind by Pat Webber. Here's Meekums, right-hand side, further through to Pierce, back to Meekums, great football from the Rebels, he's in the area, he's gone down, it's a penalty to Worthing. Well, it was a brilliant interchange between Pierce and Meekums, and when the midfielder got the ball back off the right-hand side, he was bundled down as he went into the area, and Worthing will have a penalty here. So, Pierce versus Beadle. Slammed home by Ollie Pierce. Well, that's why he scored 39 goals this season. He makes no mistake from 12 yards. Bottom right corner, left James Beadle with no chance. And the Albion will have to come from behind if they want to claim the county's biggest prize. It's the senior men's side which take the lead. Crofts. Albion really in control of the first 15, 17 minutes or so, and then Worthing just went on that spell of possession and pressure, and the Albion couldn't quite clear their lines, and eventually it paid off, but you have to give credit to the interchange, the one-two that led to that goal. As Talaj has broken in behind the back line, is it going to be an instant response from the Seagulls? Talaj from the angle, saved by Mail. Sturge, cross to Moran, somehow he's missed from six yards, still with Moran, and eventually the free kick goes the way of Worthing. Good touch there from Hinchy under pressure. Back with Hinchy looking for Sturge. Sturge rolled into Talaj. Talaj, what a finish. What a brilliant move from Brighton and Hove Albion. Hinchy got the touch in midfield. It was played into Sturge. And then Talaj buries the ball past Harrison Mayle. Hinchy just clipped it away from two Worthing midfielders, rolled it to Sturge, and it was the early delivery, really, which created that chance, but Talaj still had a lot to do from 15 yards, and boy, did he do it well. This one, not his best. Spong can head away. Miller, not too many shirts with him, but he finds Moran, and if he gets his head up, Sturge is driving up that left-hand side. Here come the Seagulls, bursting forward. Sturge again, creator of that first goal. Moran, Furlong, cross towards Todd Miller, headed back across goal and onto the bar. Brilliant football from Brighton and Hove Albion. Sturge at the heart of it again. Furlong driving forward from left centre back. There's the interchange of positions. He thought Talaj might get ahead on it, but it came all the way through to Miller, who only found the bar. And Talaj is in again, bearing down on Mayo's goal and finding the bottom left-hand corner. Lauren Talaj at the double to flip this final on its head. And he runs over to the corner flag to celebrate once more in front of the Worthing fans. Lauren Talaj has been on fire this evening and he's made Worthing pay for a second time. It was a routine throw from Worthing. They got it all wrong and then one ball from Miller put Lauren Talage through on goal and once more that left boot the curse of Harrison Mayle burying it in the bottom left hand corner here's Armstrong though can he capitalise on an Albion mistake Armstrong, one one with Jackson 18 yards from goal, laid back to Callum Keeley fired past the post
Pinchy. Perpion to Miller, sliding in on Perpion. Was Ollie Pierce on this near left hand side, and Perpion none too happy about it. Incredibly unhappy there, Cam Perpion with Ollie Pierce, but was, wasn't the prettiest of challenges from Pierce. And luckily, Perpion was able to get out the way of it. Referee in conversation here with Pierce, and it will go be a yellow card for the number 10 and the goal scorer for the Rebels. Mayo looking over the top. Turns to Jackson, going for the same ball, but Jackson takes charge. Here's Callum Keeley. Out to Jasper Pattenden. Pierce ahead of him. Pattenden got a cut in on that right boot to Keeley. Good football this from the Rebels. Back to Pierce on the left hand side. Can they find a cross into the area? Looking for Armstrong. Might drop to Colbran. Deflected over. Brilliant challenge in there, I think. In the end by Spong. No, it didn't take a touch off Jack Spong. Back to Meekums. Rebels have it on this right-hand side with Pattenden. He's standing up Sturge. He's still going. Pattenden tries to beat Beadle at the near post, but blazes it over. Good effort from Jasper Pattenden, the 20-year-old. Brilliant distribution from Beadle, almost setting up the perfect Albion chance. Furlong. Clever ball into Jack Spong. Spong in the area. Surely it'll be 3-1. Perpion finds the back of the net with a little bit of help from Aaron Racine. And the Australian has doubled the Albion's advantage. Now 3-1 against the Rebels. And surely the Seagulls are striding towards Sussex Senior Cup glory. It's all created by the ball from James Furlong, who spotted the run of Jack Spong. A touch round his man, laid into Perpion, who surely couldn't miss from close range. It took a deflection on its way in, but he will not care. A cup final goal from Cam Perpion. Clipped over the top again towards the large. Flag stayed down against the striker. Surely he wants that hat-trick. Instead finds Moran. Moran in the area. It's 4-1. Brighton and Hove Albion. To large beat the offside trap. Laid it off to Andrew Moran in the area. And he buries it from close range. Seagulls well and truly in control now and enjoying themselves in the Amex. Coach Shannon Ruth said his side always step up when they get to play at the stadium of the first team. Well, they've done exactly that. As Moran picks the ball up in space, has the composure to sit down two Worthing players, sit down the goalkeeper and find the top right corner from close range. Moran's fifth goal of the season. Back to Weber, tempo gone from the game now with the Albion in a comfortable lead but it's going to be crossed in towards Pierce. Pierce's header flicked past James Beadle's post and I mentioned Ollie Pierce not being involved has been the real downfall of Worthing in this half. Pattenden Loop towards the hands of Beadle, drops loose in the area. Albion can't clear and it's bundled over the line through a sea of bodies. Worthing do have one back and that's something for their fans to shout about. Patterson's delivery was in a dangerous area. It caused carnage amongst the Albion back line. And in the end, it was looped in by Colbran. Well, is that the glimmer of hope that the Rebels needed? Now just two down, 4-2 your score. Can a corner kick bring them within one of the Albion? It's Pattinson again. It's the same type of delivery. It's in a good area. It's headed and Beadle saves above his head. Albion survived that wave of attack. Switched out to Pattinson towards Racine, the makeshift forward. Spong's picked it up for the Albion. Is there a chance for one more for Brighton and Hove Albion? Moran's bringing it forward. Still going Moran, good looking ball, finds Eiffel, Eiffel in behind, down under challenge. This one will end with a free kick and maybe a card as well, going the way of Jasper Pattenden. It's a red card for Worthing. Well, it's all gone a little bit wrong for the red shirts of Worthing this evening. A fantastic season they've had, a wonderful season, which will see them rise into the National League South. But 
not gone their way this evening. And what a ball that is from Iran. Perfectly weighed into Eiffel. As soon as he took that touch past Pattinson, he was left with no choice. It is Spong. It's curled into the hands of Mayo. You just thought for a moment like it might sneak its way past the goalkeeper. But Mayo can fire away. And that brings this one to a close. After two years of COVID-19 keeping Albion hands off the trophy, the Sussex Senior Cup is back under the wing of the Seagulls. A testament to the county's most esteemed academy. This group knocked off five senior men's sides to get here. And now the celebrations can begin. A 4-2 triumph after a, uh, against a Worthing Rebels side that have already won their league this season. A brilliant result for the Albion, who claim the Sussex Senior Cup for a 14th time. The future looks bright in blue and white. The young Seagulls deliver the county's biggest prize in its grandest stadium, defeating the record champions in doing so. Your final score, Brighton and Hove Albion 4, Worthing 2.